Hey guys, what's up? This is Chandler. Uh, long time no see. Uh, today I want to drop a video. Um, so um, back in July, I just finished my very first, you know, Asian American Civil Rights Tour. Um, I went to the Bay Area, you know, the Angel Island, the Manzanar, and um, you know, going back to all the all the history when the first batch of Chinese immigrants came to the United States and uh, we also went to Chinatown, the very first Chinatown in the United States it was, uh, to me it was kind of wow, that was really traditional in a way that probably my parents or my grandparents generation would feel comfortable with living there and I don't really don't I, to me it was just shocking like that was really old fashioned traditional but that's a lot of culture there the traditional Buddhism culture you know even though I'm not a Buddhist myself um, and at the end of the trip that we went to the movie theater to watch a movie it's called The Farewell okay so um, you know after the movie I felt to me it was a shocking because I thought you know it's got to be like basically the language should be English but I, surprisingly that that movie is like almost 95% Mandarin and with English English subtitles and Aquafina was uh, speaking Chinese in there as well um, you know after the movie a lot of my friends were asking me wow that's just so incredible that so it's so different from the system in the US you know when if you ha had cancer right the doctor would have to tell you because it's a human rights they have to tell you they have to be honest to you right but in China the whole family the doctor the doctor actually will talk to the family first and then they will decide to hide the truth from the patient not because they are trying to lie well they are it's a it was a good lie um, but the culture difference here is because they don't want the patients mentally to suffer from this tragedy can you imagine that if you are diagnosed as a cancer and uh, how would you feel at that moment right moment if you're a mentally strong person probably you'll be fine but what if you're not mentally strong right then all of a sudden you'll feel like goodness I'm gonna die you know all these negative thoughts and emotions because of that in China people tend to hide the truth as long as possible until they cannot hide it anymore that's the whole purpose of uh, behind the way Chinese people do in that situation so that was actually something I didn't I because to me it was natural but probably to the people who grew up in the US who are not from, coming from an Asian community it's, it would be really hard for them to understand it would just be like this is I just can't understand it you know so a lot of these things you know we don't share the story the whole society will not know about our culture right even though America is a melting pot country or a salad bowl whatever way you want to talk you want to put it I think it's important that the message delivered by this movie is about sharing the story that Asian Americans, you know, when they have to go back to the Asia to visit their grandparents, you know, to kind of experience this culture gap between the West and the East. So I hope you guys um, kind of get what I'm trying to explain, and I really recommend that you guys can go uh, enjoy the movie in the movie theater. Uh, Yes, it's a different language, but you see, that's why this whole world is so beautiful, right? The diversity of the languages and culture, right? If everyone speaks the same language, share the same culture, this whole world has got to be so boring and tedious. And we need to understand each other more, right? So, just some random thoughts on that movie. Um, yeah, I hope you guys have a good long weekend and uh, have a good Labor Day. And uh, see you guys next video. Peace.